Dust is particulate matter, but particulate is a product of various elements and processes. Properties in dust differs because the biological and chemical factors influence each composition. Biotic and abiotic factors contribute to the dust formation. Dust accumulated in residential property contains air, soil, and other particulate matter. Dust can sink, float, or suspend due to physical, chemical, and environmental factors. The properties of dust are factors for elemental suspension. Elements in dust can blend when the substances absorb water molecules. Elements can fall from suspension due to increased weight of a mixture. Abiotic and biotic factors affect the characteristics of dust. The composition of particulate matter is not monolithic. Molecules, biomass, chemicals, and other substances mix during suspension. Dust in residential property and industrial facilities contain algae. In a worst case scenario, the particulate can contribute to discomfort. At-risk groups can experience respiratory issues due to the exposure. Workplace conditions can enhance or decrease exposure to allergens. Risk prevention is a standard for maintaining sanitary workplace conditions. Advanced environmental technology can mitigate air pollutants and reduce occupational health hazards. Dust is a risk factor for respiratory illnesses and disorders. Dust hypersensitivity is a condition. The condition affects at-risk groups. The human body reacts when a person absorbs, ingests, or inhales a pollutant. A common effect is inflammation. Congestion is a secondary reaction to dust inhalation. A chemical known as histamine can cause a reaction. The body releases histamine and reacts in defense to potential threats. Histamine stimulates organs during direct and indirect interactions. For example, histamine stimulates blood vessels, mucous membranes, and the bronchi. Reaction to particulates can affect airflow and other biological activities. People with hypersensitivities to dust can experience inflammation and congestion in the respiratory system. At-risk individuals can experience allergic reactions. Elements in dust initiate different reactions. Sensitive people react to proteins in dust mites and other contaminants. The risk threshold increases when people are in an environment impaired with dust mites. Respiratory and skin issues can appear when an allergen initiates a biological reaction. An immune system overreaction develops into a release of the chemical histamine. Reactions occur when antibodies detect dust and other threats. The immune system responds after the detection. Chemicals and proteins released during the reaction control and mitigate the perceived issue. A cough and a runny nose are reactions to the histamine release. Reactions to histamine and other chemicals range from mild to severe. Prolonged exposure to dust heightens inflammation and discomfort to extreme conditions. Itching and skin redness can occur after histamine releases into the body. Physical discomfort persists when histamine releases during increased blood flow. Humans release histamine during activities and in response to allergens. Some reactions are due to allergens, food, and other substances. A specific reaction is hives. Asthma and hives can derive from different issues and appear during an allergic reaction. Dust exposure is a public safety concern due to the risks associated with contact. No federal ambient air standards exist for indoor occupational health hazards. Ambient air is in the outdoor environment. 